Hey monkeys, Monkey Dan here. Today I wanted to go over some drills to help you guys build stronger and wilder legs. And there's one particular exercise that I think kind of demonstrates how wild and strong the legs are. That's the pistol. So why I like the pistol and why I think it's so important is one, you have to have excellent leg strength. You have to have excellent flexibility and you also have to have excellent mobility. So what I want to do is go over three different drills that we can use to help work on all those things and hopefully get you guys closer to the pistol. So the first drill we're going to do, it's called squat kicks. What I'm going to do is grab monkey bars, pocket monkey, whatever I have. I want good tension in the straps. I'm going to have my feet close together. I'm going to sit back into a squat. So pulling my hips back, using the handles as much or as little as I need to. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. Now, very important that at this position, our foot should remain flat and our heel should not be coming off. So if your heel's coming off, we're gonna have to work on something else, but feet are flat. Use the handles as much as you can and try and maintain back extension. So a lot of times what'll happen is at the bottom of the squat, we'll kind of dump our hips underneath, round our back. As best you can, try and maintain extension in that lumbar spine. From here, I'm gonna just kick one leg out, pointing the toe, trying to maintain a nice upright torso transferring back and forth. So why I like this, I'm at the maximum point of flexion in the knee in a pistol. So if I'm doing a pistol, boom, at the bottom of the movement there, if I put my foot down and do the squat kicks, we're working this big point of flexion. It's the end range, one of the end range in the movements. And if you're having trouble squatting or with anything single leg, it's gonna be a great way to really improve your mobility as well as flexibility. Okay, so a lot of times we think of <sighs> stretching is the only way to work on those things. You can also improve both flexibility and mobility through movement. Okay, so squat kicks. Next exercise, we are going to do a pistol negative. Okay, so I'm gonna start standing up now. Feet are close together. I'm gonna kick one leg out, point the toe, and then initiating with the hips. Hips go back, knees and come slightly forward. I'm gonna lower down to the bottom of the pistol, plant that foot, and stand. And with the other leg, I'm pointing the toe, using the handles as much or as little as I need to. Lower down to the bottom of the pistol, plant, and stand. One more time on each side, so I'm pointing. Low, 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 low. Try and really hit that maximal point of flexion of the knee. Totally bottom out, plant. Stand one more time. Okay. Why I like that exercise is usually a lot of folks they can, well, not usually, but there's a lot of folks that can get to the bottom and then they get stuck in that position. So this is a great drill to use if you're finding yourself Maybe you can lower down in the bottom, but then you get stuck. Use this drill to help use, you have the handles and straps to help you get out of that bottom position. Okay, so pistol negative. The third and final drill we're gonna talk about is gonna be a half pistol. So I'm gonna have my feet together. I'm going to squat to the bottom. I'm gonna kick one leg out and then I'm gonna stand. Okay, so we're basically doing, with the pistol negative, we're doing what's called an eccentric muscle contraction. With this exercise, we're doing a concentric. Okay, so one more time, I'm going, oops, I'm going to squat, kick that leg out, and then stand. And I'll repeat, squat, kick the leg out, stand, one more time, squat, kick the leg out, and stand. So now with the half pistol, you get to work that concentric or the up part of the movement. With the pistol negative, you're working that eccentric or the lowering. 
And then with our squat kicks, we're just working end range mobility. So how would I use these drills? One, make sure you're warm. So probably not the best thing to do like first thing in the morning when you're rolling out of bed, but get your heart rate up, get your body temperature up, get the synovial fluid and the joints flowing. Make sure you're warm. We're doing big ranges of motion and especially if you have mobility or flexibility issues, we don't want to get hurt. So I would do this maybe after you go for a hike, a run, or maybe you're doing another monkey workout. You could do this at the end. You could do anywhere from one to three sets and I would work somewhere in the eight to 12 rep range. And for those exercises where we're doing one leg at a time, that would be eight to 12 reps total. Okay, so somewhere between four and six each leg. You could obviously increase that number as you get stronger and wilder. So hope this helps guys. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the Monkey YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of the wildness. Thanks again, Monkey on. Thank you.